Welcome to Celebrate Aging. I'm Vicki Marthaler, your hostess today here at Emanuel Community. And we are down in the cottages in front of a beautiful display. It's been our traveling display this past week as we've taken it to the Madison Apartments and we've had it in the nursing home dining room and now we have it down here at the cottages. Next it's gonna to go to Lamplighter because we have a beautiful display of something I hope is familiar to you. It's aprons. Last week we celebrated a pie social and we thought it'd be fun to decorate with aprons and we put out a little plea, if you have an apron, bring it in and we'll decorate with it. Well, we had an overwhelming response to aprons and people came not only with aprons, but with good memories, a lot of memories to share. And so we found that it was one of these things that we need to think about this a little more and talk about it and see how many more memories of aprons we can come up with. So I wanted to share it with you today. It's always good to have uh, good memories and to have something to start those stories as you can tell your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, something about aprons that's so very, very special. Well, uh, these aren't all the aprons, by the way, that we decorated with. It's just sampling. And uh, so I'm going to just kind of walk and talk about a few of them. This one, uh, it doesn't seem very practical. <laughs> Number one, there's no pocket, and uh, it's made out of a netting. But so many of uh, the people that I visited with, residents and volunteers and staff, talked about how there was a time, especially for weddings and anniversaries, when those who were asked to cut the cake or pour the coffee or help in the kitchen were given the gift of an apron. And uh, many, many people had aprons tucked away yet in their cedar chest or in their drawers uh, from a time when they were part of a very special occasion. Then of course this, I love this apron, I laughed right out loud when they put it up. I'm number three, I don't even try anymore. <laughs> a lot of these aprons with the, the little top on it are used of course for grilling, we often see that, but uh, neat little messages on them. This one is very special. You can see that it's smocked. This is a handmade apron. That it was, uh, there was little tucks. A lot of work went into this apron. In fact, there was uh, one of our staff that brought aprons that their grandmother and great-grandmother had made by hand. And all these little smockings and all this little bitty part, and they even added little appliques, plus a very special hem. So a lot of work went into this apron. I'm sure this was a special one that they wore on special occasions. So that is pretty special. Then we get the bright colors. This is more like a tunic. Goes right over the top. Jan Johansson brought this in and of course she's a homemaker and uh, taught homemaking and of course I don't know how you can have an apron without a pocket. So this one has bright colors and pockets and very easy to put over whatever you're wearing. Here's another one of those, and it's got little penguins on, and of course the pocket. And sprinkled throughout the aprons are recipes of pies. We have, uh, this one is peach glaze pie. And over here we've got strawberry cream pie. Here's an interesting one, Kentucky chocolate nut pie. Now what makes it Kentucky, I'm not sure, but uh, a very fun recipe. This one is for raisin pie, and I know we've got pecans and uh, rhubarb, a lot of recipes for different rhubarb pies. This is a kind of a, a fun little smock. It snaps up the front so it, it can cover up in a minute and that, not so much uh, around the waist, but uh, covering uh, the shirt, so the blouse, so that doesn't get. Here is a little children's apron, and look at how special that is. It's got a little bit of a lace in the middle so precious, little girls too like to dress up. Here's a fun colorful smock that has appliques on it. This one looks very Scandinavian to me. It has that look of Norwegian Swedish heritage. Here is a cute little cotton one and it kind of looks like the 50s to me. It has the little uh, interesting scallops on the bottom and a pocket. Got the, the bright colors of red and apples and all kinds of cherries. This of course is another nice uh, full one. It has, well there's no pocket. Can you believe that? I would think that it should have a pocket for sure. 
And again, another smock type. This one's got pockets. Here is an older one with a hand smocking on it, and it's got rickrack around it. How many people know what gingham is today, huh? Gingham and rickrack and smocking. This is a very old and a, a nicely used one. This is kind of a fun holiday one. Look at there's Santa Claus. <laughs> And this, I wish you could feel it. It is a beautiful satin. This must have been for a wedding or a special occasion. It's absolutely beautiful, and it's very satiny. Not so practical, maybe, but very beautiful. Then we've got some Christmas, and here's another festive Christmas one. Again, no pocket and not very practical, but decorative. Then we have this. I like this one. It says, don't just stand there, help. <laughs> And it's made out of terry cloth. So that's very practical, isn't it? Now I saved these last two because these are, we found these in an Emmanuel uh, box. And 45 years ago when Emmanuel began, was uh, built, these were uh, aprons that were wore by the residents. And there was a, a lot of talking about that about how the residents would put these on because 45 years ago, the residents who came to the nursing home, it was more like a retirement home. And they were very uh, capable and able and the lower level of Emmanuel had a big, a great big room, uh, an activity room where there was a lot of cooking and uh, they would uh, clean, like especially in the summer, they would snap peas and clean peas and cut up rhubarb and all that kind of good stuff. And they even had a loom downstairs where they made rugs. And so these aprons were used by the residents, nice big aprons that, uh, that could hold uh, things and keep, keep their outfits clean. And then one of the, the guests that came to our Pie Social brought a little bit of a story about aprons and I want to read it for you today because maybe you have a good story about an apron or uh, would like, would be appreciate this. It says, I don't think many of our kids even know what an apron is. The principal use of grandma's apron was to protect the dress underneath because she only had a few. It was easier to wash aprons than dresses and they used less material. But along with that, it served as a pot holder for removing hot pans out of the oven. It was wonderful for drying children's tears and on occasion was even used for cleaning out dirty ears. From the chicken coop, the apron was used to carry eggs and sometimes fussy chicks. When company came, these aprons were ideal for hiding places for shy kids. And when the weather was cold, grandma wrapped it around her arms. Can you just see grandma doing that? <laughs> These big old aprons wiped many a perspiring brow, bent over a hot wood stove. Chips and kindling wood were brought into the kitchen in that apron. Now you think about how everything you could carry in this apron and how handy that would be. In fact, they start to make a list of all that. From the garden, it carried all sorts of vegetables. After the peas had been shelled, it carried out the hulls. In the fall, the apron was used to bring in apples that had fallen from the trees. When unexpected company drove up the road, it was surprising how much furniture that old apron could dust in a matter of seconds. And when dinner was ready, Grandma walked out onto the porch and she waved her apron and the men folk knew it was time to come in from the fields. It will be a long time before someone invents something that will replace the old time apron and all of its purposes. I think now today people would go crazy trying to figure out how many germs were on that apron. But I don't think I ever caught anything but love in one form or another from Grandma's apron. Well, the apron is wonderful and it is a memory of love. May you have memories like that too. We're celebrating aging here at Emmanuel. Blessings to you.